Welcome back to my channel guys. It's me Irvin with another anime review. This is going to be on a pretty cool one. We'll call it Full Dive for now. That's the short name of the anime. Uh, personally, I think this is one that I should have reacted to. Uh, it was so funny. There's quite a bit of twist here and there. Uh, and I, I regret not, re not reacting to it. Obviously, for those who know, Life has been crazy for me. If you don't know, then now you're hearing it. Life has been crazy. Finally have a job, which is why I find I haven't had time to post videos. About two weeks now. Uh, but anyways, I'm finally back on the groove. Hopefully, I continue this same groove and get more videos out for you guys. And we'll just see. We'll just see from there. For now, thank you for the love and support that you show this channel. If you haven't done so by now, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I have anime reviews, anime reactions will come back eventually, and manga reviews, manga chapters, manga volumes, uh, hopefully a manga haul coming your way pretty soon as well. So make sure you catch up on all those videos and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Okay, uh, this is on Full Dive. The ultimate next-gen Full Dive RPG is even shittier than real life. Yeah, that's the actual name of the series. Uh, for those who watched YouTube a lot, like me, probably have seen the video of the Anime Man and PewDiePie explaining these long titles. Uh, if you have not seen that video, then I'll explain it in very, very short form. Uh, essentially, Japan decided to start putting these long titles on uh, light novels which a lot of these animes are based off and these long titles are meant to give you a whole summary of what the story is about the whole reasoning behind this is because they noticed that a lot of people were not really uh, reading the backs of the books and so they started putting in front basically here's a little summary and it gives you an understanding what the series is going to be all about uh, so that's why these names are so long I thought it was something like that and I'm, I'm glad that I saw that video and <laughs> gave me a little bit more insights of why Japan does what they what they do with light novels but anyways for short this is full dive uh, a lot of these series have their short names I call this one full dive I think most people refer it to full dive but um, the whole name is actually the actual title of the light novel and anime okay full dive follows the story of a young man Hiroshi and Hiroshi has quite a bit of a past um, I guess we eventually find out like in the second or third episode that he was a track runner. He was doing really, really well. People are, were observing him for scholarships and all this stuff. And one of his main, most important runs, he trips and peed himself. And ever since then, his life has kind of gone downhill. People bully him. He doesn't want to do sports anymore. He just wants to stay home and play games. And people mock him for that. So quite a bit of a past story. Uh, he ends up saving up money for this one game that he wants to buy. Ends up not being able to find it and is convinced by a video game store uh, worker, Riona, to buy a different game, which is this RPG game that he is talking about in the title. He, The RPG game is essentially a VR game. You put it on, you put the goggles on, and you're virtually in there. It's very much like a another world type of story, except he keeps going back to, you know, reality. And in the game, the whole premises of it is to make it as realistic as possible and that's the twist and turns and comical side of the entire anime is essentially him trying to treat the game as a typical RPG game and really the game not allowing him to do what he thinks he should be allowed to do in the game. Uh, at one point he kills his friend at the beginning of the first episode and he's considered a friend killer and is prosecuted for it. Um, so many things happen, but essentially he figures out how to play the game. Riona is by his side most of it, and Riona is also a character in the game as she comes out uh, and helps him basically get cheat codes or not not cheat codes, but walkthroughs of the game, as well as figuring out how to get to the boss levels. I will say this series really kept me on my toes on just what 
how realistic or what is the next point they're going to make realistic in the story. Uh, again, that was a lot of the comical part of the story was, hat. you thought it was going to happen this way, but it isn't because this is a realistic <laughs> game. Uh, same thing with other stuff that they've shown in, in the series. Uh, like, for example, he was friends with his, his friend that he killed, but also his sister witnessed the whole thing and she goes on a rampage trying to kill him. Well, there's a whole reasoning behind it because if it, if it was an accident like he said he was, you know, that's his longtime friend. He would have stayed there until the, his friend's last breath trying to help him, you know, survive this accident. But instead he starts running away and he finally realizes eventually in, in the anime that, you know, although these are game characters that are not real, they're still very much real in the game for him. They they have emotions that most people would have. If someone would have killed my sibling in front of me and then started running away because they want to chase their dreams, that would piss me off. That would get me mad. That would make me want to chase that person as well. Um, I don't know if I would get to the point where wanting to kill him, but it would put me in a bad position. So he finally understands how the game works. You know, people have feelings, people have reactions, and the reactions are as realistic as they can come in this game. Um, at the end of the series, the last, I think, two episodes, um, the game gets a little too real. <laughs> There's a little bit of betrayal and twists and turns that I don't want to share because I, I want you guys to fully enjoy uh, the anime if you haven't seen it, but essentially the last two episodes he finds out the big secret of the whole city that he's in in the entire time of he's in the game uh it's a, it's a secret that i kind of felt it coming towards the halfway in the in the series but nonetheless it was still a good twist that i'm sure a lot of people really really did enjoy the twist anime list points this one at a 6.51 Personally, I don't agree completely with that rating. I would put it maybe at a seven. Um, you know, I, th that would probably be my rating. 7.25 the most, maybe a 6.75, but seven I think is what's deserving for this series. Uh, like I said, it did have a lot of twists and turns, a lot of characters that were added like um, Miss Arisa and Alicia, the the friend's sister, that were also main characters, uh, became very common characters in the series. Um, it did a very good job with all of that. Uh, it didn't get, it, it wasn't dependent on the raunchiness, because there is some raunchiness, raunchy, raunchy, raunchiness, sorry, to the series. Not too much, but there is some fan service to it, uh, but it wasn't dependent of it, so I like how it had a little bit of everything people would enjoy this series if they just watched it. It is dubbed and subbed on Funimation. Uh, personally, I prefer the subbed on this one. They did a good job on the dub, especially on some of the episodes where some of the jokes translate differently and they, they kind of put their Americanized joke side to it. So they do do a good job of the dub. Uh, you know, I only watched about five episodes subbed, but the, the episodes that I watched, I really did enjoy it more sub. So if you're one of those persons that prefers one or the other, then, you know, they have both. So why not just give it a try? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you have not done so by now, make sure you subscribe to my channel, comment, like, and share on this video, and it will help it tremendously. I'll see you guys next time. And like always, don't be strangers. See you guys.